I wanted to share the money that is coming in from this channel. So I'm very open with numbers. I love nerding out on business and YouTube is becoming a part of my business. So um, these are the numbers for the amounts of money that I've been making off AdSense over, I think this is one year, started uh, monetizing in January. It took me 10 months to monetize. So a couple bucks here and there, nothing too crazy, definitely not making a dent in anything. Um, but the purpose was I know it'll keep building and I get better and better. Over these last few, oh, also, when you make money, uh, your first bit of money, in order for Google, who, who uh, is in charge of the AdSense from YouTube, in order for them to send you a check, you have to make $100. So I remember my first month I made like 30 or something and I was like, let's get that check. And they're like, no, we're going to hold it until you make a hundred. So a couple months later, I finally got it. Uh, also with YouTube link or YouTube AdSense, Google AdSense, Amazon affiliate links, make sure you guys get the direct deposit, put your bank account in there because it can take weeks to get that paper check. Now I'm making a uh, hundred 150 I think this month is gonna be 193 so I'm like okay this is good we're like I, we are going upwards my short-term goal or maybe like midterm goal is I want YouTube to completely pay my rent I think that uh, just just that mentality of like this is actually paying portions of my life uh, would be a really really cool milestone so you know need about another zero added on top of that for my rent as it keeps going up I I am it's directly affected by the success of my videos so I am always always looking at YouTube videos how to make yours more successful the thumbnail and title game is a world in itself and that is accounts for I would say maybe 80% of the success of your video can you get someone to click so one of the big things that they talk about on YouTube is your CTR, your click-through rate. How many percentage of people sees your thumbnail and clicks through? When I post a video, it's usually about 10%. And then as the video goes on, an hour, two hour, a day, two days later, it usually drops down to 5%. So those are just my numbers. And another one is the average view duration. I'm usually around four to five minutes. On a 12 minute video, that's pretty good. Um, now that I'm doing longer form videos, uh, average view duration is going up. So the other big thing that I'm always talking about with these YouTube stats is your RPM. So that is your revenue per milli, per thousand views. How much revenue does David make? Uh, the There's another one, it's not RPM, I think it's CPM something. That is what YouTube charges for your thousand views, or how much YouTube makes off of your thousand views. And then your RPM is what you make off of that cut. So a couple months ago, mine was three. <laughs> so for each thousand views, I got $3. My videos would, would typically average 2,000 views. And if you think about that when you're making the video and how long it's taking and editing here, thumbnail there, six bucks is not, not a great payoff, but I'm thinking more in the long run. There are other people who can make $30 per million. That is insane money. So just to, just to make numbers, numbers more easy to understand, let's say I hit, I hit a viral video, I got 100,000 views, I would make um, $300. I'd be like, man, 300 bucks, all right. The more your videos are successful, the longer you get people for your average view duration, um, the click-through rate when that increases, and uh, the, the longer you can get them to stay on your channel by, hey, I just made this video, click this one. They just, or have an auto playlist. The, the vlogs keep playing. Someone told that to me recently. They said, hey, I just wanna watch all the vlogs. Put them in a playlist, please. 
And I was like, I, why didn't I think of that? I can autoplay to people and they can just watch the vlogs as they are chronologically. All those things can increase your RPM and you can make more money off the same amount of views and this just happened to me. So I've been at $3 RPM for so long and it was my Puerto Rico video, my hundredth vlog. I was really bummed because it, it was a tough video to make. I flew to Puerto Rico, explained all the things of how I'm YouTubing. I did a Q&A, but I didn't eat, I didn't sleep. I ran myself out to exhaustion, had a horrible layover and was sick the next four days. And it got two and a half thousand views. And I was really bummed because I was like, man, that was absolutely not worth it. I really thought my hundredth vlog was gonna be something important and uh, it just didn't hit. It's just easier if I do this at the desk. So this is YouTube Studio. This is what they give you as the content creator to interact, to see analytics. It's a beautiful thing. And they sometimes give you a little headline of what's the most important thing happening. So for my 100th vlog, it said, looking good, this video has got 2,500 video views, which is similar to the 2,300 to 3,800 that your videos usually get. So this got 2.6 thousand. Watch time was 366 hours. It brought me seven subscribers and it got me $46. So that's weird because two and a half thousand views at a $3 RPM would normally get me $7.50-ish cents. So how did I get 46? If we scroll down, we see average view duration is eight minutes and 28 seconds. And then if you go into the revenue tab, you get to see the RPM revenue for every thousand views has switched from $3 to $18.07. Multiply that by 2.6 and you get $46.44. That's great. I'm so happy with that. Way better than it was previously. If you're curious how much money YouTube made off of that, how much did the advertisers pay YouTube? In total, $51.36. So they're giving me a very large percentage of that advertiser revenue, which is great because before, like that's almost 100%. Before when I had $3 for my RPM, they were taking like $18 and giving me three. Anyways, they're giving me a much larger piece of the pie. And I think it was because of the average view duration and I was able to keep people on their app keep people going to all the videos that I was referencing that you could click on in uh, during the video and then afterwards maybe they stuck around pushed another video to them and on the end cards it's this really cool science math type of uh, formula where you just keep throwing variables in and you see what the answer is so if we go a little bit after that I, I started making a couple more um, longer videos so typically my vlogs are at least eight minutes and I do that on purpose so that I can get one ad break in the middle. If it's below eight minutes, you only get the ad up front. At longer, you get one in the middle, double the revenue for just having it eight minutes. So this one's 16 minutes, switching, or a sleeper VCT from eight sin, let's go to the analytics. It had 3.8 thousand views and 295 watch time hours. 13 new subscribers, $38, it's $10 RPM. 3.8 thousand views, $38, not bad. Now this is really interesting. I made $38 on it, $37.99. The CPM, how much the advertisers paid, is only $35.38. I don't understand that. It, is YouTube paying me more than what the advertisers did? Maybe. I don't know. That's what the numbers say. So let's keep moving on. I made a, this is the, my longest video, 53 minutes. I just wanted to dump all of the information from my, my experience making a short MMA documentary and it's up, it's live. You can watch it right here. So this one, <clears throat> uh, the, the viewer retention is going to go crazy low because it's an hour long, but I got a, a 1500 views. Watch time was 249, 45, which is 15 hours more than usual. Only got four subscribers off of it, but it was $19.27 in revenue. 
and my RPM was $13.33. So it goes up, down, up, down. I don't exactly know what uh, are the exact factors, but I'm just trying to poke and find different things. So for this one, the advertisers paid $41 for every thousand views, and they only gave me $13. So now it's going back like that. This is a, a really, really fun game. I love YouTube because you get to you get to win and play, and then at the end of it or during it, you're actually increasing your ability to do work, people to find you, um, getting more authority in the space. I started hosting meetups. Um, now I have this nice network of people. It, it's just like all beneficial, <laughs> and it's it's zero dollars to enter there's no barrier to entry anybody can make this i make it on my phone i'm not growing at a crazy rate but i am building very consistently so i want to do a second channel kind of like a pet project except it's not going to be about me i'm trying to convince my girlfriend and she's watching these you know these things happen because of this youtube channel she's right next to me she sees uh, the meetups the revenue checks, all these benefits that's helping my career from a YouTube channel. And I wanna convince her to let's do something outside of your job. Mine helps my job. Let's do something out of your job, something that you're passionate about, something that you like. And she's saying, I don't really have any passion at hobbies like that. You're, you're nerdy about your camera stuff. You love it and it's true. I, I could talk about this stuff all day. So I'm trying to find something for her and we think we have an idea. We just gotta see if she actually wants to do it because if you don't wanna do it, it's gonna come out horribly. If we can get past that stage, I'm going to try to implement all of the things that took me a year and a half, almost two years to learn and do it for day one on hers. I will keep you guys updated. Um, if we can make an episode one, if we can give it a storyline, you know, she has a great personality that people attach to. Um, there's just a lot of potential in this. And I, I feel like I could put it into an incubator, use my knowledge, get feedback from you guys. Um, but the YouTube thing is really, really fun. I say it all the time. I recommend you doing it. If, if you don't even want all of the benefits it'll bring your job, it's a very fun, creative, passion project, and you will just get benefits. If you, if you really try to do it, those will come in organically. So it's something that I like to keep feeding. I love watching uh, you know, boring, nerdy podcasts about this is what you can do, this is, this is how you can sell yourself, this has a higher click-through rate, all of that. It's fun. So if you wanna do it, um, go for it. Put, put it in the comments if you want to, if you have an idea that you want to get some feedback from, from other people in, in the community. I had to show you this before you guys leave. So this is my highest viewed video. It has 15,000 views and it made me $38, 15,000. This has 2,500 and it has more. That is why your RPM is so important. Let's go here and let's see what what the RPM was. And let's go to revenue. $2.43. That is horrible. So now my my RPM is growing drastically and therefore I will make so much more money off of the same or less or any amount of views. Look at that. YouTube was, was getting $10 and I was getting two.